Is your path blocked? You have to snake through. He's, he's up. He's getting up. Okay, your turn. Hello, Mr. Wallaby. Please don't scratch me. What are you going? Hi. Hi. Excuse me. Just passing through. Do you want to go, or do you want to be eaten? Uses their pair bond because these birds uh, pair for life. Go on, Keith, keep going. Now, the bottle is about 1200 pounds per square inch, so you don't want to be bitten by a parrot like these guys. Uh, they can remove your fingers and crush your knuckles, so I say you do not want to be bitten by birds like these. Now, you might be thinking, oh, there's loads of birds of prey out here. With parrots, how is that possible? As I say, all these birds, even though they're classed as birds of prey, the vultures and the kites, they're scavengers mainly. So they're not interested in hurting the parrot. They're more interested in the food that we've got. Now in the parrots, look at what their, their tail feathers. They've got 10 big long feathers in their tails. They use those as windbreaks to help them come in for nice gentle landings and also as rudders to help them change direction as well. There goes Jim the green wing. Jack's negotiating a pay rise on the, um, the right hand side there. Doing absolutely <laughs> nothing. Kiwi, are you going to head up that way, mate? Passage lights, there you go. Know. In the tree. <laughs> now, so this is just a small sample of the birds that we're going to be bringing out over the next few months. In total, there's going to be about 45 different birds in our finale, including more vultures like these guys, more parrots, so about 20 parrots in total to be training up uh, over the next few weeks. You might have seen a training session with some of our other birds uh, earlier on. As I say, there's a lot more to add in along with our crown cranes. Barry's still down the field doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I promise you, he's a beautiful flyer and he does beautiful big loops around the vineyard for us, but it's only his second day back in the show. Now, coming up next, folks, we've got lots more activities. We've got some more animal handling going on. Uh, we're going to be opening up the lemurs a few minutes after this show. We've got some birds out at the front here for you to have a closer look at if you want to. <laughs> at one o'clock, we've got a meerkat talk and feeding over at the meerkat enclosure at 1.30. We'll be back here for the Wild Wonders show. That's all about the mammals and the reptiles. Uh, but otherwise, folks, I hope you enjoyed watching the birds fly this afternoon and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.
As long as you're gentle, she'll be gentle. Wow. She'll try and get down here, but she'll be awesome. Well done. spreads the body right out across the legs and that's why it only feels like you can only feel the tap. She's very light footed because she has to be quiet when it comes to out on the wall and she has to catch some little insects which have adapted to be able to hear those kind of things. You know, the, the antennas and things like that, like cricket. She has to be able to be quiet otherwise she'll never catch anything. Oh, actually like spiders. Well, I always say tarantulas and spiders are two different things. They like the feel of both of a bit in the air, one with two different things. Or a donkey in a horse. Let's have a look. You're not going to hold it. Come on then. Should we give another go? Oh, she's braver than me. She fell off, no worries. Oh. I think she's quite warm to fish. She doesn't seem quite energetic. Do we? Ooh, she's off. Tickly. Is it more tickly than the hedgehog? Lots more cuddly. So you won't move much. <laughs> Is he Bill? I sleep. You've got to be gentle, okay? Oh, they're funny looking creatures, aren't they? I'll let her walk across you. Oh.